hello guys and welcome to another video in our channel and today we are going to dealing going to be dealing with a main menu system and this will be entirely based on the new uh, graphics new gui system that uh, unity has developed and this will be based on event systems and this might be uh, quite new for you because uh, although we did talk about this um, a bit in the last video but uh, we have not talked entirely about the event system and um, how it works so let's begin into it uh, in the last video if you remember I have uh, asked you to create a simple main, uh, main menu if you have not done so please follow up along with me so right click in the hierarchy panel and create a text object uh, what this does is it creates a new UI system so what it has is a canvas and it has even system along with text so every UI element that you want to build should be inside the canvas and the problem you can see here is if you if I just zoom out here and find my text if I can do so okay I have my text here and what you can see is my text is entirely outside the canvas which is here so therefore it is not showing on the screen uh, which I in, uh, actually wanted it to if I change the position of this text to 0 comma 0 then I can see that it is inside the canvas and it is in it is showing up great in the uh, game window too. So let's just quickly position our uh, some objects here. Let's delete this text because I do not really need it. I want a button here because uh, in the main menu that is what we normally see. So let's put a button here and yes, this is a very good looking uh, generic button, not a very good looking button, but a generic button and okay so I talked something about these uh, anchors here and what you can see if I expand this button here is it has a text field inside so what this button is is basically it is an image with a text inside it so wh when you click text you can see that it is already uh, its anchors are already placed on the full side so that it stretches out inside the button but the button has not uh, has anchors which are not placed on the uh, four different corners of the button so that is what is done is uh, it places the button at this position but it does not um, guarantee the same scale will be preserved in all different devices so what I want to do is I want to move this button and be sure that button is selected in the main menu and not text so I want to move this button a bit up I want to place three buttons like this so this button is I'm also going to put anchors around it so these uh, these butterfly like icons are called anchors and I'm going to place these anchors around uh, this button and what this button will be called is a main okay play button so this is a play button and in the text field I just say it as a play button simple I want to change the font uh, style to bold and font size to maybe 16 if you like it 20 okay 20 is pretty good and yes everything is in the center and font color is black Let, let's uh, let's not consider on these things now you can always play with that those values if you like and yes so this button is done I want to create another button just place control D which duplicates the button and I just move it below that original button and yes here yes. so this button is our options let's say options so these are all buttons uh, except for play button that we are creating you will be making those functionalities so uh, these buttons uh, call it whatever you want to call it and change the text to options okay options and if you see here when I select options you can see that my anchors are around the play button and not around the options button so what I want to do is I want to drag each butterfly icon to the each end of options and a simple hack to do this is always grab the butterfly icons on the opposite corner so this corner and this corner so you can these two with will automatically move with these two so therefore 
I recommend what I recommend is moving these two or either these two and not uh, concentrating about another this another two uh, angles. I think you get it. So what I also want to show here is in main menu, what you have is a background property. So what you can do is in the main camera, you can just click this background and change the background color of this. Um, the background that is so that is being shown here. If you, I don't prefer this blue that Unity gave me at first, so I'm switching to a bit grayish. Okay, this is this is your choice. This is entirely your choice. Given the background of our game, you can also put this to green or something like that. It's it's entirely your choice. I'm just showing that you can always do this. And another thing that you may want to do is you may want to put image as the background. And you can do so by creating a UI and image. So you can always put an image source here, and these image anchors will be with the these four anchors of the screen, so that it is always in the background. And you can put these two above the image, and simple, the image acts now as a background. So if you see. So this is my background. So this can be done pretty easily. And if I want to place my background, say, I do not have a background. Okay, let's say this is a background. Okay, I have already done this, and you can see this is a very beautiful background for my game, and this is looking nice. So, and if you notice one thing, our background was not of this color. Our background was intentionally blue color, but this color is a bit different. How? Because the main menu, main camera's uh, color, background color that we have set to green is mixing with these blue colors and giving this color to us. But still, I prefer this, uh, I prefer this kind of background and it's looking good. So next thing that we want to do is we want to make this button click. If you play the game now and if I click on the play, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening when I click the options. So therefore, what I can do is I can select the play button here. And if you see in the inspectors, what you can see is we have different properties. And one of them is a button script. So button script has different things, uh, including the button image that you want to play with. You may want to play with, not always. But if you want to play with, you can always change that. I'm keeping that, uh, that as usual. But the thing here is I see four different, oh yes, I, did, I see four different colors in the button. And what this normal color is, this is a normal color. This is how your button will look normally. So let's say, let's for, uh, for demonstration purposes, let's put it to, okay, blue, okay. Anything you like, I'm not very good with colors. And okay, maybe put it to blue, uh, red, sorry. And highlighted color, highlighted color is the color when you put your mouse over it. So let's say this is blue and I'm just put, uh, choosing random colors so they can be just noticed when you, uh, when you click it. And yes, and disabled color is the basically the color of the button when it is disabled, it is not enabled. And now if I go and hit play, what I can see here is my button changes to blue color when, my, when I point my mouse to it. And if I click on it, it becomes yellow till my mouse is clicking on it and when I left leave it, it just switches to blue uh, because it is selected. When I select another button, it switches to red. So this is how the button things, uh, button uh, color works. And another interesting thing that you can see here is on click property. So on click, you can what you can do is you can add a simple uh, action here and they uh, don't change any other values. Okay, sorry You can just select a menu. You can just select any game object Which will contain a script and you can call a function. So I'm going to explain that so if you see in the main menu in the Your scripts folder what you can find is you can find a play button so uh, sorry play script just drag that play script to play button here or instead add component and play. So what you find is a play 
strip and just click it and you have the same effect as as mine so now you can do what you can do is you can in this uh, you can if you see here in um, at the side of this um, text button what you can see is you can see a small radio button a circular button there and you can um, what this does is opens this window and you can select the play button here so if you select the play button and just cancel that window you can see that it has a number of functions and number of scripts attached to it and inside the play script if you see here there is a function called click and this is the function that I put name through and when I double click play and open it in visual studio what you can see is I have done nothing I have not done I have not done anything inside my myth inside my start method I have not done anything inside my update method on the click method however what I have done is and this click can be anything it should not be click it's uh, it can be anything it can be click it can be uh, play it can be anything any name and you you like so what I'm doing here is application dot load label scene 2 so what this scene do is it's the name of another scene that I'm going to call and another thing I can do is application dot load label and I can just I think okay I messed something up the load uh -huh, application dot load label and okay it's saying deprecated okay it's saying deprecated so what we can do is let's point my mouse to it and it's giving me some suggestions you can it is saying that use scene manager dot load scene so let's see what it has a C N C S C E N E scene manager and okay it is not giving many options okay unity dot scene management has to be applied and in, and in VG studio you can do is control dot and it will give you options like it I like it did in mine so scene manager dot is there something called load scene or something like that yes there is a scene there is a method called load scene so load scene and I can pass my scene name so what is scene a scene is a label that we created inside the assets folder for example this game scene is a scene name I can just copy this scene name and just paste it right here and just delete this okay and okay this uh, this is work, this should work fine now scene manager dot load scene and when I save this and I go to unity if you hit the play button now the game will not run the game will not go to game scene because yes it is not going to be another scene and what is said here is scene game scene could not be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings or the asset bundle has not been loaded to add the add scene to the build settings use the file build settings so what I see what is it what it is saying me to do here is go to file and in the build settings you can do here is just drag and drop these things so now what I prefer to do is I prefer to put my scenes here in the order that would, I would like to open them so first scene will open first for example my main menu should open first so therefore I put it above the game scene and the second scene is the um, game scene first scene is main menu so now I have added here and unity will say that oh I know these scenes so so these scenes should be built and to play these games these scenes are needed and when I hit play now you can see that my game is playing so what we are doing here is we have just created a simple game motion a level loading kind of thing here in unity so I would like to uh, I would like you to try these things on this okay just save it and in the game scene what I want you to do is after the game over after the game has been over I would like you to show a game over screen and then go back give the users option to go to main menu or to restart the game and these scripts are already in the scripts folder you can play along with them in another tutorial I will cover cover these topics Thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please leave a thumbs down uh, thumbs up button down and uh
also if you did not like the video please know let me know down in the comments below what i should improve thank you guys for watching this and uh, see you in the next video goodbye for now